lot of people when they're looking at wine, they'll either see red or white or pink or they'll be able to look at density of color in the grapes or the juice and be able to think back to those grapes growing on the vine or in the vineyard. Some people think about the soil and you know where these grapes are coming from, but for me when I'm looking at a glass of wine, I'm thinking about the microbes, which is a whole other facet of winemaking because the microbes are what makes wine. They're changing the grape juice into ethanol. They're producing all of these flavorful and aromatic compounds that are actually really shaping a wine into what is in your hands. My name is Sydney Morgan and I am a third year PhD student under Dr. Dan Terrell at UBC Okanagan. One of the great things about my research is that I find that it's really applicable and it's really specific to North America because I'm looking for yeasts that are indigenous to a local winemaking region and it's great for winemakers and wineries to be able to tell a really unique story to their consumers and be able to say that they're producing a wine that is absolutely unique to a specific region that's not reproducible anywhere else in the world. As a microbial ecologist, it's really important to help winemakers understand what's actually going on in their fermentations and what yeast and bacteria are actually producing the wines that they're making because different yeasts can have different effects on the sensory profiles so they can actually change the way that a wine tastes and smells. Being able to conduct my research at UBC Okanagan is a really great opportunity because unlike a lot of bigger cities, this one is nestled right into the heart of wine region. Working in a lab and being able to take samples from the vineyard or from the winery back to the lab is really cool because we get to see the production on the one side and then bring it back and actually you know, take a look under the microscope and work in the lab to actually figure out exactly what's going on. I've got about a year and a half left of my PhD and when I'm finished I'll be looking to do a postdoc somewhere and I would eventually love to be able to teach enology and microbiology at a university while still conducting research with close industry partnerships.